Adam. Leviathan and Sinoom coming up here with that Batman and the Rain Dog versus one of the big surprises for many, but not a surprise to us who've been looking at them Prepare for a while. Yourself. Ross and Sinko regracing the stage, trying to get themselves back to the podium. They've already won a couple of these before when nobody could see it. Now they get to show exactly how amazing they are here on the Justice League. It's really cool to see Ross like come into his own, right? Yeah. Because we've seen a lot of like he's, he's appeared on Void Stream a bunch of times, like team up with him in the past. He's been teaming with uh, Cinco for a while. Getting onto this tournament now, we're getting from his point of view. Let's just see if the Supes can actually do it this time. He's against Batman and Rain Dog again, a very phenomenal team for Leviathan and Sinum to be able to like bring that to the table. Having that support, having the ability to tether your partner back in, so it allows him to go as deep as possible. Right there, even he's not opting to pull him on the tether, even though Sinum was a little bit, you know, in danger because he's just trying to maximize the damage from the tether. Oh, absolutely. Oh, no. We see the Kryptonian hand slash, man. And finally, Leviathan's going to come over the side. Realize Sinum was dealing with so much damage. Good dare there. That's a great opportunity. And we're going to step away from the side. Ross needs to find some of these early kills. Oh, there's one. Get tossed on command. And you already know that's it. That's been the the showcases. The why they're still here. Uh, majority yep. of these Ross knockouts just going off the top, and then also even on the other side of things, Cinco. You can never sleep. Cinco could be focusing uh, uh, focusing on one, and then next thing you know, dash cancel jump comes in. He's out there with you off stage, and that side air comes in and just closes it out. True. And now you got Ross here just living the dream. 155 owning up to that tank name, but not going to be able to take that uppercut. Sinum coming in strong, trying to get a second point on the board too. But oh. you see the defense from Cinco just avoiding everything. He's ah. in trouble. But, you know, Ross turns it around, jumps all the way up there, gets a grab, tosses Sinum's ass off the top of the blast zone. My man can jump for days. And damn, oh, absolutely, all that got man. set up, by the way, because as soon as Ross got, off of, uh, got out of losing that last stock, jumped in front of and body blocked rose off the stage to make sure they wouldn't go down that being said no body blocks were available from either one because again the illusion of choice does not matter which route you take you will choose incorrectly nothing could be done for Arya to save him there batarang already hit the jump and then here comes rain dog just to guarantee you can't dodge up to try and get back they are the scariest team to being off stage and getting edge guarded yeah, I mean, their their awareness of like where people want to go is so great, and of course, you're you're looking at the character like you're looking at Bruce Wayne, man. My man has got the dare, he's got the aerial down special, so active hitbox. He's got the battering as well. But then in tandem, you're looking at Rain Dog. Rain Dog's got the mobility. He's moving so fast, man. He might be a friend of Sonic. Who knows, right? And then you got the fireballs being bounced off the walls. It's just. It's immaculate, right? Really, these guys, like you, they put you through an obstacle course. And once you finally get out of that, they're just sitting right there with the lovely dare. And then that's it, man, right into the blast zones, man. It is really hard to get past these guys once they have you in their sights when you're off stage. Just so much effort coming out from both players. You saw the way that Ross and Cinco were moving too. Like they were getting those kills. They were finding their marks. It was just like Bam mm -hmm. said, dude, anytime they were off stage, that's when they were just being decimated, mm -hmm. whether it was a kill off stage, a gimp, or just a lot of damage before they finally reset back to neutral. So let's dive into game number two now. We got, again, going straight back to the stage, Trophy's Edge number one coming out. Let's dive in, Ajax. I love the way they always start off the game by going with the, oh wait, oh, I'm about to be a, I'm about to see a, a KO already. Starting That's how Ross starts. Again. What at 20. He That's how we do it. But they yep. always, always start the round with that smoke up at the beginning to guarantee they can get a mix up on burst. Ross going for it right now. A tactic aid does not mean anything if he grabs you, scoops you up, and sends you down. True. Absolutely, man. And dude, Ross had actually went against Sinu first, right? Trying to get him on the left. Then Emil went to the right and tried to get Leviathan. Got a ton of damage, but wasn't able to close it out. Cinco, on the other hand, is that 110, but got a clap right there on the side, but not going to be able to take that one in time. And Ross is not going to be there to get that up special to toss him off the top either. Bro, that charge punch literally has so much attack decay on it because he's been landing it hit after uh -huh. hit. Eventually, you got to go for a different move to refresh him. Oh, got the oh, uppercut. He got, hit, he got hit out of it before Interrupt. he threw it. So yep. that, that actually changed up the entirety of what could have been this game. Oh, he wanted the battering to bounce back so he could do it again. That was so well positioned by Sinoom. He just missed. Oh, Man, my God. Yeah, Here come the combos. 
Here come the combos. You see Cinco going up there, throwing the dagger, trying to find their mark, sitting at 58 damage, trying to find this opening. Another uppercut coming out from the Batman, dude. I'm telling you, that move has been buffed to oblivion. It will kill you at such an absurdly low percent. Good duff coming out from Ross, getting out there deep, making sure to get rid of that little hefty rain dog. Tries to finish off Sinum on top of it, but good evasion from him being able to just get out of dodge to get back onto the stage. That's some Batman defense. I look back at that, and uh, Ross jumped into the blast zone just pointed that out oh, but <laughs> yeah right <laughs> he that to himself. Yep. No, okay no, no batman propaganda long okay okay <laughs> relax, relax. <laughs> i didn't just but, do him like that dog just, come on well oh, actually man. wait oh Will, he's about to disappear he's about to disappear at 36 46 oh, God, what an incredible combo Dude. coming in from uh from <laughs> that was that was crazy. all the at the top that was freaking crazy, man. And you know, the big thing I've been seeing right here is, oh, he's trying to get him off the top, not going to get in in time. But Sai Newman, I don't know if he ha if he just went into the files, man, the contingency plans, because he's actually been playing extremely stellar up against Ross, and Ross is going to lose it off the top, man. I'm telling you, he had the plan. No kryptonite needed. Just my fist. Bro, he wants all the smoke. He has literally jumped into every single smoke screen that, uh, <laughs> that Batman has put up and just starts throwing out armor. Anytime there's a scramble, like Ossie was pointing out before, that, that, that side air is completely a tacticade because he's just in there. It's like, all right, look, I want a piece of this too. Every single time, Ross is right there, uses the, uh, the, the dash cancel armored uh, hit off of the forward attack to try and sneak his way in consistently. But at the end of the day, it was on the combo game of the red team, man. They are just yep. so on point. When you give them one chance, it's over. Speaking of good combo game though, that's what got them back into the game momentarily. It did, it did, man. I mean, it literally, was, it like, was a play. there was a moment where Leviathan was just—I mean, multiple moments. Right? Like, we haven't been giving enough, enough mm -hmm. credit. There's been so many times when Sinum goes for the uppercuts and it doesn't land, right? Because they dash to the left or they dash to the right. Guess who's over there? Guess who's over there to eat the dodge? It's Leviathan with an up bear. He's gonna kill him off the top. So even with even though the uppercut doesn't quite land, Leviathan's doing such a good job supporting his teammate by just being there to get the option coverage out there to just kind of like trap them. You know, they're, they're yeah. trapped like rats. Yeah, this man. Is, like the, it, the, all these players are a culmination of so many different titles too. Yeah. You know, we we've been looking at you know Smash and all that, but there's the Brawlhalla pros, there's the Rushdown Revolt players like Leviathan. Yes. There is uh, the Slap City pros, there's the Nasby pros. Everybody's come mm -hmm. in here and been putting it work in so many different aspects and coming together to team up with those different Skull Girls pros. Has been... Oh yeah, true. Well, I mean, well, actually, <laughs> if I talk about them right now though, uh, I can't really talk about my, my boy Sage who happened to get knocked out in the second round of losers. Um, oh. Oh, did I say that out loud? Sage, what are you doing, bro? That's my goat, and I want to see you though. sure? He you is. sure? And hey, look, hey, the best. I don't do that to my goat. I don't do that to my goat. Hey, 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 your best friends tell you when you messed up so you could do better, and that's why I want to see him do better. That's all I'm saying. So we're gonna see this continuation here of losing of these other side of winter semis. The two rounds up currently of Leviathan and Noom, Ross and Sinto, uh, Sinkar are going to need to figure something out ASAP in order to get, get themselves back into this. Yeah, I mean, one of the biggest things that we've seen a lot of close situations where uh, Ross has been able to, like, essentially be very close to getting some early kills, but he has not been able to land them appropriately. We haven't seen the standard combos that we've seen from them for the most part. When you see the up specials coming in from Cinco and then immediately getting the up special toss, man, and to get him out of here. They need to be landing those if they're going to compete with these guys because best believe Leviathan and Sinum are actually getting these quality confirms just like that. Him getting the stick, trying to go for the up air afterwards, almost potentially getting the kill off the top. Ross still living the dream here, seeing at 138, trying to just go for the laser eye beams. A pretty safe move to go for from the bottom. Tries to use his armor to get through that because not many tools in the arsenal for the other players to get through that armor besides like the fire debuff. He's still sitting in there, 149. We see an offstage action going on. Someone trying to get the spike. Who's gonna get the spike? Who's gonna get the kill off the side? They're still going at it. That still so alive. I both Gets the the Here comes a projectile coming in on the side of that, but it ends up being the red team who walks away with it. Something that the blue team wow. hasn't done much, by the way, they barely ever break that gem. That's a constantly yep. active hitbox that will lead to electric stun state. You do not want to let that rock. Okay, like that, that's something you need to break actively, but they're constantly playing right next to it, saying, come over here and I'll punish you for it.
Yeah, and that's been a big interrupter. Ooh. Finally gets a caster special, man. Get another toss? No, not even needed. And just like that, we're going to be two apiece. Those are the kind of confirms and situations we need to see Cinco and Ross setting up for themselves. They have not been able to do that consistently. They've been kind of going for a lot of ISO plays. And right now, an isolated situation. That is what keeps happening. I'm telling you, my man has prep time. You got to be careful. He's got the prep time. Don't jump across. Not just oh, that's Batman. Hilarious. Wait. It's not just Batman, dude. Leviathan's also doing on the right. Look at the right side, bro. Uh -huh. They're being a 1v1 off stage. They both got stage advantage. Just throw oh, those fireballs man. at him, and it's done uh -huh. for. Now, look oh, at this hilarious goodness. custom taunt. Say, my friend, you're coming with me. Oh, no, it closed it off before it was oh, over. No. It's all good. <laughs> it's okay. Well, that right there was incredible, incredible dominance on the side of uh, Leviathan and Sinum. Once again, in a very similar position to where they normally double up, on the side of the stage with those edge guards, we've been complimenting them on that all day. Option coverage is the name of the game in this game. You got a jump, you got a special, and you got a dodge. You can choose one of those three in a row. And once one of them has been burned, it's easy to guess the other. So it constantly gets blown up by these players at this point. And the number one and number two teams that we were expecting to potentially get here, two teams that were close to playing spoilers, who've been lighting everything up, they're gonna take a trip to the losing side of bracket. It's gonna be a guaranteed winner's finals of Mirror Man and Rose versus Leviathan and Sinum. That is potentially a precursor to what we could see at EVO. Yeah, man. And I mean, these guys have been since day one.